Hi everyone. Well today I'm going to harvest some chives and I wanted to bring you guys along with me for that. Show you how to harvest chives, share a few little tips about storage and how to eat chives. But before I do, I got to give you guys a quick look at the garden. It's morning, it's about 8 a.m. I just love coming out in the garden in the mornings. What's your favorite time of the day? So behind me I've got a scarlet runner bean arch. We love enjoying watching the butterflies, the birds, and the bees on that. And I've got the herb garden actually right below me here, and that's where we're gonna start off with today. Hey there, Mac. Ready to harvest today? I just wanna give you guys a quick little look here at the herb garden, a little bird's eye view. This is right outside my back door, so it's really fun to just pop out here and grab some herbs for meals. I do it almost every day. So if you guys aren't growing herbs, see if you can get a little herb garden planted either in containers or in a garden bed as close to your kitchen as possible. Let me tell you, you will absolutely love it. Now chives are a perennial herb, which means they come back year after year. They're really, really easy to plant from seed. And I've got seeds in my herb garden seed collection. Or what you can do is take little chive clumps that you already have growing or that a friend has growing, divide them up and spread them all over your garden. So that way you have an endless supply of chives. But the more you harvest them, the more they produce. They make great little edging plants. I love how they look here along the edge of the garden bed. They're really pretty. They just kind of add kind of a thriller type effect. You guys know I like the thrillers, spillers, and fillers. So let's get in and harvest them and I'll show you guys how easy it is. There's a hummingbird on the scarlet runner beans. So beautiful. They love those flowers. Now when you harvest chives, it's very important that you don't pull up the entire plant because then you're not going to get any more chives. What you want to do is just give them a nice little haircut. So not only will you get a beautiful harvest of fresh new chives, but you're going to encourage new growth. So what I like to do when the plant is about six inches tall or taller is just come in here and grab a clump and then just snip them off. And the smell of the freshly cut chives is absolutely amazing. Herbs have just such an amazing aromatic scent. You might want to snip off any of the brown stems. Sometimes the older chives have, have these little brown stems in them and that will just encourage fresh new growth, help them look healthy, and keep them, help keep them growing all summer long so you have an endless supply. Chives are actually considered a cool weather herb. They grow best in temperatures under 85 degrees. This little herb garden here actually gets a good amount of shade. So they have been growing very, very well here in the summertime. You get morning sun, afternoon shade, and they're really like in this spot. I can expect to see new growth from these probably within about a week or so. A good time to harvest too is when you kind of see them flopping over like those chives are. So let's get in, get in there and give them a quick little haircut. And that way it'll keep them nice and fresh looking and really pretty in the garden. You can see where I snipped these about a week ago and they're already starting to grow back. You can cut them all the way down to the base if you like, but I tend to go about halfway up and leave about six inches of growth on the plant. I'm going to just go along this little herb garden and give the rest of the chives a little haircut it's looking better already and at the end of the video I'm going to share with you a couple of ways that you can store all of your extra chives it smells so good out here I wish you guys could be here to share this with me so we'll bring it to you through the video okay one more Well, as we head down below, I just want to give you a little look around the garden. It is a gorgeous morning here. We actually had some rain this morning, which is extremely unusual for us here in California. The sunflowers are looking particularly beautiful this morning. I just saw a hummingbird in the scarlet runner bean arch. What a gorgeous morning to be out in the garden. Now, one thing I do love about chives is that they grow year round here in Southern California, even in the winter time. If you live in a cold winter climate, they will die back in the winter. As I mentioned, as soon as the spring hits, they're gonna grow back and you'll have a beautiful new crop of chives again. But every part of the plant is edible. The leaves, 
the seeds, the flowers, the bulbs. Now I know I have some down here that are already flowering. So let's take a look and we'll give them another snip and clip. The chives I have growing over in the fountain planter have been in here for several years now. We've divided them a couple of times. I'll post a link to the video where I showed you how to do that. It's a great way to give little garden gifts to your friends if you have some chives. Just divide the clump, put them in a pot, and then you can share them with your friends and family. So these you can tell are looking a little bit more raggle taggle. They've been facing the brunt of the heat here. Um, in this area, I have full sun all day long. They're not particularly fond of hot temperatures, but they'll still keep on producing. But coming in here and giving them a nice fresh haircut will really give them a new life. Now here are some flowers on this chive plant. And these are a little bit past their prime. If you wanna harvest the flowers for the best flavor, you wanna get them right when they open. They'll be a really beautiful purple color. And they start producing seed pods. You can see there are some little seed pods here. And they start producing seed pods on the top of the flower. So this one's starting to dry. The seed pods will, um, the seeds will fall out as soon as the flyer, flower gets completely dry and then new chives will pop up. Or you can harvest the flower, let it dry out, and then harvest the seeds um, later on when the flower is completely dry. So we're gonna get in here and give these chives a haircut. And it will be so incredible to see the brand new growth. For an endless supply, you really wanna harvest them often and discard all the little brown uh, pieces of chives here um, as you put them in your harvest basket or as you bring them inside. I'm just gonna snip here at the base. Actually for these, since they're looking so raggle taggle, I'm gonna snip them quite a bit further down. So that way we really get some fresh new growth and get rid of all this brown stuff. And you do wanna divide your chive clumps every, probably every two to three years to help you have an endless supply. So I'm just gonna go along the edge of the rest of this garden bed here. And these I'm actually gonna keep separate than the rest of the chives in my harvest basket because these are older chives and I wanna pull out all the brown clumps before I store them. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. It's already looking better. Oh my gosh, and again, you guys, I know I keep saying this, but you have to smell the aroma of fresh cut chives. It is just absolutely amazing. They kind of get a little juicy, releases all the juices when you cut them, and the, the scent is just absolutely incredible. Got some weeds in here too. Might as well do that while we're here. Even Callie Kim has weeds in her garden. One thing that's also fun about the chai flowers is they are big pollinator attractors. So the bees and the butterflies absolutely love them. And chives also repel or keep the unwanted pests away. So they're an all around, just great herb to grow, easy to grow, and something that you always wanna have in your garden. Now, we love to eat chives on just about everything. I love to just snip them real quick into scrambled eggs. Something I've been making lately is an herbed goat cheese. So you just grab a block or a log of goat cheese, chop up a bunch of herbs, grab your chives, throw them in there, kind of get in and mix them up with the goat cheese, put it in the fridge for a couple hours to absorb all the flavors. I'm telling you guys, it is amazing. Now you can store chives that you're gonna use within a couple of days in the refrigerator. One way that I found that really helps herbs and chives last a lot longer is if you roll them in a paper towel or in a dish towel, it just absorbs any unwanted moisture so they don't spoil near as quickly. Now, I don't particularly like to dry chives because they don't have a lot of flavor when they're dried. So I don't um, really like to use the dehydrator or lay them out on a plate to dry. They just really lose a lot of their flavor. But they freeze very, very well, which is definitely what I'm gonna do with probably most of these chives. Now, for, to freeze them, all you have to do, grab yourself a cookie sheet. Oops, got some weeds in here. And 
All you have to do, grab yourself a pair of scissors and you just snip away, spread them out on a cookie sheet to kind of flash freeze them. That way they don't freeze in one big huge chive clump, which is really hard to use. You most likely don't want to use a whole chive clump. You want to use little individual pieces to sprinkle in soups, salads, over your scrambled eggs. So you just snip away, fill up your cookie sheet, spread out the chives so they're kind of will freeze individually. Put them in the freezer for a couple of hours, take them out, they'll be nice and frozen, and then you can pop them in a freezer bag and save them for whenever you're ready to use them. So there we go guys, how to harvest chives and some different ideas for storing them and eating them. Comment below, let me know if you're growing chives in your garden, what you enjoy about them, how you like to eat them, how you like to store them. <laughs> Mac is not liking the bees out here. And if you need seeds, do grab one of my herb garden seed collections over at calicangardenhome.com. You're gonna absolutely love growing chives in your garden. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.